Dumpling, it's your boy. Welcome to your cousin and show. Okay, they're doing well because they're having a wonderful day on this um, 29th September 2024. And it's beautiful outside. Um, we're about to recap episode 19 and 20 of One Piece, season one. The reason why I don't say season is because normally a season is 24 episodes. One Piece and season are 52 episodes. Black Clover episodes are completely different. So it's very hard for me to be like, okay, well, I'm juggling multiple projects. Episode 30, episode number one, episode number two is complicated. That way, if I just do it like that, it's easier. Super simple exact, super simple episode 19. We see the backstory of Zoro we're seeing is where does the termination come from? Where does Jean come from? We learn about Queena, we learn about his teacher. The episode, when it comes, when it comes, when it comes to the episode in itself, it is not important at all. It is not important. However, it is a super episode, a super important episode. Like, when you see that episode, it is supposed to represent. Spoiler, do not have watched this. Spoiler. When you see this, the, the, the backstory of Sanji, and when he was stuck on that island and starving. That is the backstory of Sanji, right? No, 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 no. This is the... One of the part of the backstory. The backstory is his parents, how he was raised, his brother, his sister, Cake Island. That's this backstory, right? So with Zoro, we're seeing something. And Zoro's so mysterious because we don't know shit about him. We know that he wants to be the best wordman. Don't know why. This episode answers this question. We wanna we we know we wanna know where he comes from. This answers this question. He comes from a dojo, right? Now, spoiler. This episode is super important and the case that we learn is sword, the white sword where it comes from. When it's a super great sword, how did someone like him get such a good sword? We get that answer. We get the answer of is Roots and Wano, when we learn that a teacher is actually the descendant of somebody that escaped Wano when the ring of Kaido came in. So lastly, we learn about Queena, Queena being um, the reason why Zoro is so protective. Because he lost a friend. And it's cool because when you see in the last time I'm going to see a person looking for the, the sword and she looks like Queena. We have the we have the idea that Queena died, but we don't see the body, so we don't know. And lastly, lastly, we can establish that. No, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, that's not the most important episode at all. However, it is the beginning of a lot. Right? Now, episode number 20. Episode number 20 is... Fucking, fucking, fucking phenomenal. Fucking, honestly, I'm gonna be. So far, so far, episode 20 is my favorite episode at all. So the first thing we do is we found a place that says, hey, we're on the ship, we have a good crew. It is so well made. Okay, so here's the truth. My airs are a mess today. Holy shit. Here's the truth. I did miss one piece, maybe. So me watching something that I miss, of course I'm going to be positive about it. But more so, we're having four crewmates. And because we're having four crewmates, well, we, you, we use more food, so we have to do rations, right? Um, and that's a problem. So we start in the reason why is Nami. And what I love about Nami is she may not be useful right now in combat, but Zoro and Zoro and Luffy have no idea what the fuck they're doing. And Nami being with Pirate for so long, she's like, yo, we need to find someone who's gonna be able to do the most food with the little less ingredient. Make sure that we get our nourishment. We get, make sure that we're good, right? And if you really live in real life, just like me, uh, you know that the greatest thing you can do is eat junk food. The greatest thing you can do is eat chicken wings or fried chicken. Ugh, I crave it. Is it gonna be nutritionist? No. Gonna fill you up, yes. Gonna be, are gonna be doing good health, what not? And uh, the health is super important for somebody that's at sea for years and years and years, right? So, long story short, um, she tells, okay, we will need to cook. And it's kind of crazy because this is a bit of a spoiler, okay? But in episode number two, uh, Zoro's like, hey, where's your crew? And uh, Luffy tells him the crew. And in the crew, we, we have a swordsman, we have a musician, we have a cook, we have a fishman. And he realized that the, the, the musician is Bones, the cook is Sanji, and the, uh, the fishman is Jimmy. And he does realize it, right? And the greatest thing with, um, with, with this is 
he said, okay, well, we need to cook, which kind of was Luffy. So Luffy, once again, looks like a dumbass, but actually knows the fuck he's talking about. And um, it's really cool because he's like, okay, well, we need a, a cook. There's a, a fish boat, uh, not a fish boat, sorry. There's a restaurant boat right here, and it's called the Barati. And this is where we meet Sanji. The way we introduce Sanji is super cool. Um, at the beginning of the show, we have a new ship, which is the Going Mary. And the Going Mary that has a cannon. And we're practicing firing. We f fire at the restaurant, and the restaurant is like, yo, you need to pay us. So the crew is supposed to stay in the restaurant. Now, technically, what they could have done is just get the restaurant, and get the food, and just leave. But because they're going in that restaurant, they're, they're gonna stay there. And that's why they find a cook, which is Sanji. The, 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 not necessarily the. Mm. Okay, let's put it like that. That's a problem. But the, 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 the one consistent part you see with, uh, with the crew. The Straw Hat crew is the waiter being the waiter being uh, recruited. See, with Zoro, Luffy heard about a fantastic swordsman, and Zoro. The only reason why he, he recruited Zoro was because stuck on the island, he didn't have a boat, right? Um, and then we, he went to Kobe. So Luffy was special. He, he, he wanted Kobe to join the Marines. He was a good place because the Marine base, and he wanted to to find Zoro. So he had a reason to stay. When it comes to Nami, he was stuck with Buggy for a while because again, Zoro, he's in a cage and uh, Zoro is wounded, he has to stay there. So then they gain the, they gain the place of Nami. When you see Yusuf, they see a situation that's crazy and they want to help Yusuf, right? I don't, you know what, I'll be completely fucking honest. I think the fact that Yusuf is Yasuf kid, Luffy liked him. And um, I... I do think that he, they liked him, Zoro liked L Luffy, but am I willing to say that they thought about, they thought about um, recruiting him right away? No. Did it come pretty fast? Yes, it came, wanting to recruit Yusuf came very fast, but automatically, no. So with Sanji, that's the same thing, and we know Sanji is one of the, um, the crewmen, and if you tell me it's a spoiler ink, no, it's not a spoiler, it's in the fucking intro, guys, come on. So, continuing uh, with Sanji, um, so we go in and we have this this character which is C Commander Full Body and again we see a marine that is completely corrupted and uh, the, the crew man, the crew hats are there but it's kind of crazy because the, the straw hat doesn't really come in it's more so Luffy is here, is getting in trouble with the captain and you see Sanji and you hear about Sanji and Sanji character is perfectly described. He is this guy that wants to protect the girl. You see injustice and you see people wasting food. And he starts to fight and you realize that he's super strong. And uh, yeah, so far Sanji is being introduced as Sanji. He's not introduced as, oh, you're gonna be my cook. It's just an introduction of Sanji. So pretty cool episode and that's about it. Love you guys. Peace.